Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, sustainability matters, which means we find ways to shop less, we thrift, we recycle, we upcycle, we pay attention to the fabric, then of course you incorporate the fit and your style. And one of the ways in which I also try to be sustainable is to often go into my closet, look for pieces that I think I have forgotten, carry them for maybe fast fashion pieces that are currently online or that were online. So this is what we'll be doing today. So let's do this guys. I hope you find inspiration and you find these videos informative and it would inspire you to do the same going forward. So today guys, our stop is at Nordstrom. I visited Nordstrom a couple months ago and guys, prior to that visit, I have been eyeing this gorgeous, elegant, Burberry printed scarf. It's absolutely stunning as you would see here and I've been back and forth at the store just trying it on and feeling it and just trying to get a sense of whether I would like it. Why does it bubble like a bubble? Not like smoke. the fuzziness? Yeah, the fuzziness. I think because it's wool. Oh, it's a natural sometimes. fiber. Like, this is, this is wool, this is cashmere too. And cashmere, yeah, it's probably that. Very good quality cashmere should not be peeling this much. In fact, if the cashmere is sustainably made, it should be durable with little or no peeling, and it should be softer as it gets older has a natural color and made from long fibers. How can you make it look prettier? Um, Pilling is almost inevitable when it's a natural fiber like that, right? If it's made from short fibers, it means it pills and it's not durable. Like, unless you're always shaving it, because I have one of those fabric shavers, Unless you're always shaving it, you're never going to get something that has absolutely nothing. This one is cuter than this one. It's different, right? That it's like almost how tight the um, the threads are too. Yeah, that is true, guys. Pure yarn and tight knit gives you the best quality cashmere. Because wow. look at how much it's. Yeah, that would be just. It would be a lot. I think it's kind of like you have to embrace the fact that. That's how it is. Even and, I think when it's brand and new, and the price is not decreasing at all. No, because it's, I know, even I know. When it's brand new, and I took it out of the box, it's gonna look like that. You know, it's just it's more than nature. But this is brand new, product. though. This is brand new. But it's a different, it's different as well. You know, like it's not the same finish. You can see where this is like a much more smooth, where this is yeah. more like a woolly, thick texture, right? Like if you just touch it, mm -hmm. you feel the material. Let's see this. I'm going to get the expert though, I'm not the expert. I... <laughs> so, she may have a little bit more knowledge to shed on the situation. Yeah. So, this other cashmere piece is a blend of cashmere and wool. Pro possibly sheep wool that is thicker. You can wear it both ways. This piece has a solid side and the check. Price. So here I'm trying to determine whether or not it was the same price for both because one piece is definitely a bigger blanket scarf than the other and they were both different materials. As said, one piece is a wool blend and the other piece is 100% cashmere. 
the 100% cashmere piece is over $2,000 and the wool and cashmere piece is $1,190. So there's a huge price difference. Hey, in how are you? This how are you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know this lady. <laughs> she's, she's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We're shopping for cake today? Yeah, it's like, why? Is this so fuzzy, 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 and it's not even like decreasing in price? So this is 100% cashmere. I know, no kidding. Yeah. So I uh, I don't do well with cashmere uh -huh. for real. Uh -huh. But um, seriously, I. So this will happen for 100% cashmere. That's kind of like natural things because the material with the cashmere thing. So if you consider about the fuzzy, um, I'll say. How do you like the one on yours? This one is... So the this... one on yours, they actually different material. So those are mixed with wool and cashmere. So those one will be a lot better. So if you're concerned about the puzzle things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And plus, actually, personally, I like this one better. Because it's not it's... as big and elegant. Yes. Yeah. But this one, you actually have two ways to wear it, right? So you can use the solid side or you can use the chest. solid side. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't give me that look that I'm looking for, like that like one. This. Let me just yeah. go grab another one. Seriously. Well, I love the look of this one. It's cute. This one? Right. Just got the last oh, one. Oh, you see how pretty it looks? But you know my issue? My issue. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful. My issue is. This is before, but look, it's also getting the same. That's the same, fancy. like the material. What it That's like. the nature of the material. Yeah. Because it's. I love it how long it is. It's elegant. I love the lens of that one. Yeah. And you can't wear everything on the other side. It's, it's the same on the two sides for that one. It's the same check. And outside of that. Yeah, I can wear like a giant yeah. scarf. It's have like a nice belt. And you can do like yeah. dress with jacket or with coat. I love it like this. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's the same tone, you can match it with different prints. This is the one I love. I just don't like how it looks. Guys, when you're struggling this much to like something, it's definitely not for you. I love it on you. I do. I like it too. Thank you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> It's so interesting that after leaving the store a couple days later, I saw this lady on the bus wearing the cashmere piece. I am sure it is a Burberry piece, but I really couldn't justify spending so much money for something I am not liking, guys. So I went into my closet, as I normally do, to look for pieces I've already owned. And of course, I found this piece and yes, it is definitely not a natural fiber. This is an acrylic piece. It's 100% acrylic, but I already have it in my closet. So there's no point in me getting rid of it. The best thing for me to do at this point is to wear this piece today, which as you're seeing right now, I've been doing over the past years. This piece is about three or four years old and I've been rocking it for the past three years actually since I got it I have not stopped wearing it every single winter guys on the dot and as you can see here I've I've worn this piece guys and surprisingly it is still in very good shape and I'll be wearing it to death 
sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love you let's get back to the video she also showed me this alexander mcqueen price point for this one this one's actually a lot better than burberry <laughs> 790 yeah. It's good for you. It's this girl, my mom would freak. Culturally, it's like a big mom. <laughs> and this is a piece that was bought at the same time as the printed piece above. So it's also of the same material. It's 100% acrylic and i've been wearing this year after year ever since i got it so it's definitely something that i would keep on wearing every winter and of course guys as i've mentioned before i am not ashamed of repeating or re-wearing my items so i would be wearing this piece for many more years to come I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you do give it a thumbs up leave your comments below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care bye bye Mwah.